Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I show the game played by Jennifer and Petro Gilferra. And this game complete in only 25 moves. And here you have one of the very interesting game with the sacrifice on the move 22. So let's see how the game play. And the game start with the pawn to d4. Then the black reply with the knight f6. And here the white continue to play a c4. And e6 was played. And after this, knight c3 to develop the knight and control the center. And now bishop to b4, pinning the knight. After this, e3 was played to bring another bishop into the board and now the bishop captured the knight and the b captured back the bishop and after this the black play c5 and here the black trying to destroy the center of the pawn And here is the first five move, and you can see that the position is slightly better for the white. After this, bishop to b3 was played, and now knight to c6. Then the knight to f3 was played, and d6 was the continuation. So after this, the king go for a castling and e5 was played. Then d5 to attack the knight. And after this, the knight goes to e7. And here, the white continue to play a queen to c2. And the bishop is highly attacking the pawn at h7. And after this, the knight to g6 was played. And this is the first 10 move with the white is slightly better in this position. After this, the white play knight to g5 and to create more activity and have the idea to attack. Then the black play knight to h4 and here after this position the white play f4 and this is a song track with the pawn able to capture the pawn and attack the knight and after capture the knight then the bishop will able to capture the pawn at h7 or you can use the knight to capture the pawn at h7 Right. So after this, the black play h6 to attack away the knight. And now the white just captured the pawn and attacking the knight. And after this, the pawn captured again. Then after this, the if you go for a pawn takes the knight, for example, pawn takes the knight, then you can have a e takes the knight, and after this pawn takes the knight, then g3 to attack the knight, and here the white is very better because after this the bishop attack the rook, the rook will just come up to rook f2 then the knight need to back to g6 and this will be the weak square and white will be winning a pawn and after this the bishop will trade off the knight then the pawn capture and after queen capture back the pawn and it's a check the king 
and if king move to any place then the rook will capture the pawn and here the white will have a decisive advantage for example if the king move to d7 and you have the rook capture the pawn and now the rook will attack the pawn at e d6 and the queen will be able to capture the pawn again at g5 so this the white query winning and at this position white has already won two pawn so back to this position after f4 you cannot capture with the pawn after h6 you cannot capture the knight first so after capture the pawn you need to use the pawn to capture back the e5 and after this position the knight back to f3 to trade off the knight so the knight capture and now the rook capture back then the black go for short tussling and now pawn to e pawn to e4 then the knight to e8 and the bishop continue to develop to e3 and trying to capture the pawn and attack the rook and b6 was split then queen to f2 and now you have a queen to e7 to protect the pawn and also to protect the e5 pawn however now the black the white continue to play a rook to g3 and trying to attack the pawn and also is pinning the king and also the bishop can capture the pawn at h6 and will be winning a piece so the king goes to h7 to avoid the pin and now the queen to f3 again the king and here you have a strong attack and have a piece play then the knight to d6 and here this is a 20th move and you can see that in this position the white has many activity to move ahead and attack and after this the queen to h5 and here the white is better and keeping the black busy and after this position the queen play queen to e8 and after this move the white is clearly winning and at this position can you find how the white continue to play and win the game i give a couple of seconds to figure out well congratulations for those who found the answer and for those who like to enjoy the show here are the moves that the white play and win the game and made in 6 and here the beautiful move that the white play is using the rook sacrifice with a rook takes g7 and check the king rook takes g7 and check the king and if the king do not take and move to h8 then you just have a simple queen takes h6 and checkmate the king so in the actual game after rook sacrifice the king capture the rook and now you have a bishop to capture the h6 pawn and continue to check the king and the queen is controlling the square and if the king move to f6 
and you have a very beautiful checkmate with just the queen queen to g5 and checkmate and in the actual game after the bishop check the king moved to h7 and here you have a bishop to g5 open check and now the king moved to g8 was played and the bishop to f6 and after this position at move 25 the black resigned the game and if you continue the game if any move from the black for example you can use the knight to capture the pawn then the queen you just go to h7 and checkmate the king and it's being protected by the bishop and with this thank you